Hello and welcome to the Futurum Tech webcast, live from the show floor. My name's Stephen Dickens, and we're here at Sharing Columbus. And I've got the pleasure of being joined by Lisa Schwab from SVA Software Inc. Hi. Hey, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing wonderful today. How are you? Yeah, it's good. It's great to see people in person. Absolutely. We've only yes. met in, down a Zoom. So it's... Yes, and I'm very tired of it. Not because of you, but just generally speaking, tired of learning through Zoom, tired of meeting people online. Very glad to be here and meeting people face to face again. Yeah, and it, you can tell with the buzz from the show already, people are, I've, I've been walking the hall saying hello to a bunch of people yeah. that I haven't seen in three or four yes. years. So it's fantastic to be back in person. It really is, especially like yesterday, the, the welcome reception. I was very excited because I got to meet like a former of uh, a couple of former IBM co-workers. I've been in Germany for a while working for IBM. It was fun to see them again and also former customers, current customers. I'm very excited about being here. So I've been working with SVA software for a while. We've been talking, you've been briefing me on what you guys are doing, mm -hmm. but let's just introduce you to the guests and, mm -hmm. and to the listeners, the, the viewers on the show here. Sure. Tell us a little bit about SVA. Um, so I am Lisa Schwab, as you, as you said, I'm the Vice President for Sales and Marketing for SVA Software here in the United States. I am based in beautiful Austin and hot as heck Austin. I was <laughs> going to say, it's a little yeah. hotter than Germany. <laughs> it truly is. So I'm, I'm very excited to get this little break from the heat right now. Um, SVA is um, our parent company. SVA is headquartered in Germany. We're around for 25 years now. and. Um, we uh, are the biggest system integrator um, for IBM in Europe, and I think it's number three worldwide, especially when it comes to software and also um, power, the power world. And that was what was interesting for me. I didn't realize how big a company you were. I think I was aware of you as a, a smaller software yes. company, not that big a parent. So maybe double click on That's that. That's the for... mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's the big one. It's like, let's say, two and, two and a half thousand employees worldwide now and revenue is well above a billion dollars. So it's a really significant size company. However, in the US, our business model is a little different. <clears throat> That's why we're called SVA Software Inc. in the US. We focus on selling our own developed solution, and it's all about empowering infrastructure. So our solutions range from mainframe optimization to VMware layer optimization and everything that's in between, if it's storage, if it's power, whatever you can ask for. We optimize, we monitor, we provide alerting. So our mission is, as I just said, empowering your infrastructure. And I was fascinated when we got to speak about optimization and what you're doing in the mainframe space, particularly, mm -hmm. obviously we're at the at chair, so that's where yep. we're focusing today. Tell me a little bit more. Optimization optimization's a big word. Really is. What do you do in that space? Because I found it fascinating when we spoke before the show. Sure. Um, so we refer to our optimization as the optimization platform, and it basically consists of three pillars. One is ZWR, our Z workload reporter. Then it's the Z service, and it's Z guard. Working with customers over so many years now, we found that basically it's always around five problems that you need to address in a mainframe space. One is meeting your SLAs, because mm -hmm. when you miss them, you can definitely face penalties, charges, whatever. For sure. Then the second is definitely a financial planning, because we all know the mainframe world can be a very expensive one, right? Like having that... Um, a good idea of what to expect in terms of costs mm -hmm. and talking costs the third point is most in my mainframe customers want to reduce their actual costs and or increase the revenue depending on the perspective you look at for it. less or exactly that classic equation of correct i want to maximize budgets but i've got more work to do exactly then the fourth of course is an independent capacity planning and analysis and last but not least is the operational stability we we all know that mainframe staff is retiring, how hard it is to find new talent and all of that. So that is why we have it. We, we call our solution a platform. And let me dig a little deeper into each of the three pillars, okay? Mm -hmm. So ZWR, the Z Workload Reporter, is a cloud-based reporting portal that comes with some 700-ish uh, predefined reports and, and still growing. And I think the interesting thing when we spoke was that it's cloud-based. Right, I exactly. think we hear yes. so much about hybrid these yes. days, it's, and you're obviously a mainframe software. Run and, on your mainframe, correct. And I think 
that was the key takeaway for me right. when you briefed me on it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I've seen this type of tool before. Right. Oh, it runs on the cloud. It does. And I think that speaks to the hybrid story that we're seeing across the industry. Absolutely does. It runs on the cloud. And with these reports, as I said, the 700 plus predefined reports, they kind of tell you how well your system is performing, mm -hmm. right? And um, so it, um, you can kind of drill down all the way from the CAC level to your to your job level. So it's really just one click and you see all the, the interesting the relevant thing information. for me though was that it's not just the software. You're tapping into the SVA expertise Correct. and it's it's kind of this marriage Correct. of not only the deep software but also the expertise. Maybe right. tell us a little bit more about that. And that is the Z service, <clears throat> the second of those three pillars. We don't just throw a piece of software over the fence and leave you alone with that huge amount of data. We are actually here to help you make sense out of that data. Let me give you an example. We've helped customers um, to really understand their financial contracts, mm -hmm. no matter if it's subcapacity pricing, if it's tailor fit pricing, and also especially with a performance analysis that we do together with the customer, we notice that most of our customers are at the end able to reduce MSUs, which means save costs, but at the same time improve their performance. And that mm -hmm. is, like you said earlier, more with less. And I think that combination of not only the deep 700 reports and the things to tune, but then also the expertise that's done Correct. that before to be able to go, it's not just the smarts from the software, it's smarts sure. from people who've got a lot of experience sure. implementing that and seeing those benefits. And I think that those two together was what I took away from our briefing as the most value. Yes. And there's the third component as well. Yeah. Where does that fit? So um, as you said, let, let me make a, a quick comment. I think that is the main differentiator mm -hmm. that we have in the market. It's the combined software and service, right? And ZGuard, that third pillar, optimally comes in after your system is well tuned with, of course, ZWR and Z services. And it's a, it's a real time um, intelligent automation tool and monitor. Mm -hmm. So, um, and its intelligence comes from, um, uh, from customized scripting, right? And with those scripts, you can do load balancing, you can do alerting through email or whatever source of messaging you choose, or um, adjust the, the capacity automatically. And so let's say to summarize it, that is your, um, it centralizes your operations because you have everything just in one view from your CAC to your LPR. And that, by the way, runs with a small little bitty agent that is not processed on, on the mainframe. So, and you have that agent on every LPR you want to monitor. And I think we've seen across all industries, automations yeah. getting more and more pre prevalent. Sure. I think in the mainframe space with some of the skills challenges mm -hmm. that you talked about, being able to codify that expertise and turn it into automation code yeah. that then can go and automatically re keep those environments sort of running at exactly. their optimum. That's got to be a message that's resonating. Yeah, absolutely. So. Tell me a little bit more about, the, I think, those five pillars that you talked about, those requirements you're hearing from clients, yes. those three product sort of areas. I can see that resonating with clients. What sort of traction are you getting? So uh, we do direct sales on one hand, but also work through um, the channel on mm -hmm. the other hand. Um, big hi to my friends from Sirius, <laughs> CDW company now. We're working very closely with them for more than seven years now. Fantastic reseller, oh, particularly absolutely. here in the US. Yes, exactly. So, um, and we work with customers like across all industries. Like, like give me two, let me give you two examples. For retail, for example, the Black Friday is mm -hmm. the time of the year, right? And when your environment isn't well tuned, you might miss on online transaction. So basically, you miss out on revenue, big chunks, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and in the past, we've helped customers, especially in a retail place, to um, make sure that their systems are performing well so that they increase the revenue. On the other hand side, we do work with states in the U.S. as well, because especially with the pandemic, unemployment claims coming in, systems totally out it's of control. It's been a dynamic world the last couple of years, right? <laughs> exactly right. So we're working closely with across all industries. And also, maybe important to mention, customer size is like no matter for us, because the solution really scales big time. I think that cloud piece probably helps oh, there, yeah. right? Because That's you're not exactly having it. to run that on a, on the box. Exactly. You're not constrained by what the physical constraints of the mainframe Absolutely are. Absolutely right. Scale it in the cloud, yeah. run it against the mainframe. 
it's yeah. a perfect combination. Yeah. Our smallest customer, to give you an example, is a small little shop, like one LPAR, 20 MSUs maybe. Wow. But we also work with managed service providers and they have like, what, 200 LPAR, something like that. So we can really serve all customers. And is that because of the cloud that the scalability yeah. is just not an yeah. issue? It just scales, yeah. Perfect hybrid cloud story. Yes, right? right? <laughs> so obviously SVA is here at Share. Yes. What, what are the key takeaways? What are you wanting people to sort of come and reach out and, and take away from you, their engagement with you here? Um, as I mentioned before, I think the unique selling point for us is that we help you optimize your, your environment. It's not a piece of software only. It comes with much more than that. And with the help of Sirius, for example, we have huge teams that can really support you on your every, in your everyday business, on your journey to a perfect mainframe, let's say, even though when you don't have the resources in-house. Well, I think that's a fantastic way to finish. It is. The perfect, <laughs> the, your, your journey to the perfect mainframe. I think you've given us a great outro. Wonderful. My name's Stephen Dickens. You've been listening to the Futurum Tech webcast brought to you live from Share. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much.